Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogbot333, and I'll go back to Hearts of Iron 4, Thousand Week White Reich, as Norway. And last time we are here together, well, uh, Germany is in some hot shit right now. The entire oh, uh, oh, man, Toronto court is going after them right now. I sure would not want to be them. Uh, thank God we're, I am not. And we're also working on our GDP. I'm gonna start building some infrastructure. I don't know entirely how GDP is calculated in this mod. I know there's like a, something that you could pop up that tells you at the start. I'm sure I read it once upon a time, but I don't remember that once upon a time I read it. So, what are you gonna do? Other than bitch and complain, not much. But, hey, that's it. And it would seem that the the people's armies are doing quite well. Is there some sort of mass mutiny? I, I, I wonder what happened there. <coughs> <coughs> oh, well, that's, that, that's peculiar. We don't, we don't need to talk about that. Um, well. well. Polish democracy restored. Very interesting. Uh, the Netherlands is pushing back in as well. Assuming it's peacekeeping mission, okay? Sure, sure. Ah, war. Yeah, I didn't figure they'd be at war with uh, the Toronto Accord. Northern Shanghai headquarters complete. Interesting. A new fine building indeed. So I'll give a little. Uh... Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is nifty. I kind of like how they have like that little bit, and then there's a little bit in New York that uh, is sectioned off. They also have a Statue of Liberty, which I think is very cool. I don't know if that's usually in a base game, uh, a base game or in other mods or not, but that was interesting. Toronto Court intervention in Russia. Excuse me? I should not have clicked that that so quickly. I didn't catch what that was about. Um, I don't need interceptors. Um, let's do. Let's do construction. And we're gonna get concentrated industry going. That'll give us some more factories in states. There we go. After scouting the train to northern Norway for a suitable location for the spaceport to shoot research rockets into space, our researchers have determined that the island of Andoya, in the northern part of the Lofoten archipelago, would be suitable due to being close to the sea and being far from national boundaries. Here, scientific instruments will be launched into space to measure particulates in the atmosphere in auroras. With help from radar and other equipment supplied by partners of the Nordic Security Treaty, our launch site will soon be ready. To space! So we got all that. Um, yeah, Canada's actually joined the Accord right now anymore. That's okay. Give us station rights to the Accord. Um, let's do Naval Age. Through the era of pitched battles between battle ships at sea is over, the recent events, particularly the Pacific War, have shown that we are entering a new naval era. Age. Excuse me. Our naval power is still decisive weapon warfare. As a result, we must invest in our naval forces. I'll get some stuff in Bin's net going. Some naval stuff going. Well, yeah, here we go. 
Um, yeah, look, we're kind of in the end game of this series. There's not really too much more we can do, I feel. Uh, we finish up the main bit of the focus tree. I want to see if we can get our GDP up anymore. Getting to like the top 10, I think, would be like the most ideal. But we're in the top 20 right now. We're even in the top 19. Look at that. Um, we'll work on more civilian factories in Ustlanda. In fact, we'll make that the priority. See if we can't get that fully boosted up. Interesting. Well, what's next? Well, it says it's a bit of an uphill battle. I don't know if I'd go that far. I got to put their odds a bit higher than an uphill battle. more radar tech going. Oh, there we go. We get the extra research tech, but I'm not too worried about that. Do factories at all if naval dock arts effect for GDP? It can, they might. I was just say they probably do. Although, it also could be the fact that the Germans are getting their teeth kicked in. Yeah. I'm gonna put that more onto that than anything, really. Well, we could turn those. Do we not get dockyards anymore after, after that? That's kind of lame. So sad. Um, let's get some armored progress. The military sector V industry, the one responsible for the production of weapons, equipment, machines of war, and all the things an army needs. It's important we focus on it, because a strong military is always a benefit. Let's do it. I'm going to get some new guys in charge, I think. Population, stability, no, no. Um, go add Alfred Madsen. And then, who do we have over here? Construction. I want extra factories. You don't get that though. Go Paul S. Wilhelm Hartman. Why not? Now we get nothing from those guys. We don't even get any uh army staff. That's that's a little rough. Well, Germany's struggling a little bit. Uh, oh, wow. Another mass mutiny of Nazi troops. Who, who, what a shock. What a complete surprise. People's Germany must have a really solid gaming chair right now for what they're pulling off. That's my theory. Oh, and now they're fighting each other again. I don't know why they called it off. They were doing quite well. But I mean, okay. Let's do that. Um, in theory, could I get... It looks like if I trade this over, I would get more uh, factories there. 
Interesting. People's Germany and Berlin. Oh, yeah. I can do that. Um, next up. Give a uh, station right to record. Why not? If Nazis ever returned to Norway, it would help to have the Toronto Accord at our side. We'll allow our forces to station in Norway for the foreseeable future. Um, I'm trying to think what else there is to do, but I feel like we got like the the vast majority of stuff done. Really, do like some test rockets. The Andoy Space Center is a rocket launch site in northern Norway where rockets can be launched for a variety of purposes. Um, I'll see the first test rocket. Oh, well. Let's get construction going. Russian peacekeeping. I wonder. So we got stuff in Ustlandet. Is the capital. If we swap to a different tech. So we don't lose any of that. I voted yes on it before. I don't know why we're voting on it so soon after if it didn't work out, but... Now it's 17th grade, uh, ranked GDP. Holy vaccine declared safe. Station strikes the core, there we go. Um... Do research department. I think right now instead though, we will do new economic outlook. We must now turn our attention to trade in the market. It's a valuable asset that will help develop our economy and we mustn't disregard it or refuse to give it attention. Focusing on it will surely only bring us good. Yeah, sure. I don't see why not. There's been a fly flying around my room for a fucking while. It's bugging the shit out of me. Test rocket launch. Launch. Play missile launch. Alright, very interesting. Um, let's do atmospheric research, I guess. Oh, look, they're going after Banat. Go get some stability back. Looks like the commies in Greece are on track to win. Hellenic State. Um. Wanna? They have my boy in there. There he is, Retsakama. What a man!
frustrated coup attempt in Argentina. Hmm. Well, our economy's coming together quite nice. Well, launch. Flame missile launch. Let's do Mission Aurora, see if we get anything unique there. I'll get rid of some of these dockyards. Instead, we'll work on convoys. And in the meanwhile... We'll do an open market. Economy not function properly without international trade. It's simply impossible. Therefore, we must focus our attention on our neighbors and trade with them, making sure our homeland receives all the goods and resources it needs to sustain itself. There we go. Let's do light aircraft manufacturers. Construction. Let's get some stuff going in Binsnet, and then some stuff in Nord Norga. Aurora rocket launch. Well, that gives us a, a research slot. Holy shit. Um, okay, that's kind of cool. I'll take that, but... The Russian National Republic going with Bunichenko. Interesting. The German People's Republic. Revolutions are the locomotives of history. Karl Marx. Alright, so. Belgium has been restored. Or, not Belgium, the Netherlands has been restored. The Czechs have been given their freedom. Free Germany, indeed. Look at that. Now Belarus is a member of the UN. With the funny guy who used to be the generic portrait. For fucking everything in early Hoi 4. Okay, the Republic of Belgium's back, even. Oh, they gave up the Congo. Look at that. They're They're back. I bet the, um, Luxembourg's membership. I bet the, uh, the royal family just kind of sitting there looking at what happens. Like, oh, well, uh, this is awkward. We didn't think you guys would be back. Can we have our uh, palace back? And the people are just like, no. No, get the fuck out of here. Oh, look at that. Uh, German People's Republic is actually giving a lot of land back. That is actually kind of huge. Germany surrenders. The end of a dark era. Alright, so I've done that, if I'm not mistaken. Still have those boosts. And Binsnet also gets some stuff. And so... Oh god, this is gonna be... This is so fucking broken, isn't it? Let's get excavation going. Um, I want to keep doing this and see if I can get to the uh, top GDP. I think it should be possible. Fucking Swedes are beating us, of course they are. Stoney's joining the UN, look at that. We are killing a GDP per capita, though. That is something to be proud of. Only fucking Zanzibar is beating us. I don't know how the fuck that happens. Um. That is bizarre. I don't I don't know why it's like that. DC statehood, interesting. 
New Columbia. It's kind of a lame name, but uh, that's all right. I mean, here, here's my question. I don't quite know what to do to keep this going. We could do a trading economy, which we will. An economy focused on trade can only be good for the country. This opens the doors to all the resources we need, but also to strong economies and diplomatic ties with other nations. We can certainly do that. India backs to bet. Ukraine UN membership. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for all of this. Um, that being UN membership. Um, oh, military coup in Argentina. Um, I'm not sure where we really go from here is the thing, in, in all honesty. Um, I don't think there is really much more we can do. <laughs> Land International. Well, um... It'll be a very nice airport when the Ukrainians go in and take it, I'm sure. They'll very much appreciate it. King of Italy. Is it still Mussolini? It is still Mussolini. I have a little faction going with a couple guys. It's interesting. World Food Program calls for a multilateral food aid program have been brought forward to the General Assembly under the resolution of the World Food Program established to provide emergency food relief for all countries in need. Yeah. That sounds like something we'd be for as uh, social democrats. I'll do the global market. We've opened our nation and economy to international trade, and we are collecting the fruits of our success. We must go further. Particularly, we shall open our market to the whole wide world. To do nothing but benefit our society. After all, the saying goes, the free of the market, the free of the people. Now, that does not sound like something social democrats would say. But, what are you going to do, I guess? Um... You know, I think this is probably as good a place as any to just leave things off. Um, we didn't exactly have any big confrontations, although what I don't know what we really could have fucking done as, as Norway, realistically. Um, but we have the Nordic uh, Security Treaty going, which is nice. We're the 15th rank great power. Or, uh, global economy. Excuse me, I've been playing too much of you four. Um, our factories are coming along quite well. Our economy will be coming soon. Everyone's joining the UN right now. Are they just waiting for the Germans to give in? Is that what happened there? Um, I'm not really not a fan of you. You doing this right now, Lithuania? I gotta be honest. Luis Padilla Novo's non renewable five year term is over. Uh, the time has come to select a new UN General Secretary General, in accordance with Chapter 15 of the UN Charter. Okay, interesting. UN Security Council will be tasked with recommending candidate for the General Assembly's approval. Until a new Secretary General is confirmed, a sitting Secretary General shall function as Acting Secretary General. Okay. Customary practice by the UNSC. In the case of a tie of its candidate, the selection process should be restarted within three months until the candidate regains a simple majority. Interesting. I don't think we can do anything there. Alright, so... Hey, yo! It's our turn! USNC members, America, China, UK, Norway, Egypt, Colombia, and Laos. There's something so funny about Laos. 
Also, uh, Columbia's kind of busy, so it's a bold move to make them uh, members of the Security Council, but... We could... Oh, why are they going after Cyprus? Empire. And that's it. Oh, the Brits, you sneaky, sneaky buds. Um... Um, let's just end this. The Civil War's been going on for too long. Let the Greeks have some damn peace. Um, did that give us more factories? It did. Oh, this is so fucking broken. It's not even funny. It, it's hilarious how broken this is. I actually think... I'll mess around with this a little bit more and see if we can't get to the biggest economy by the time that uh, we max out our capital state. Um, we'll do mass production. Russian UN application. So we been begin weapons testing. Um, it's really nice to see if it checks back. I missed them. There we go. The Greek Democratic a Republic. I think that just broke Greece, but um. Oh well. Gotta work, everyone. Three fucking people voted. I didn't get an option to vote, so I don't know what happened there. Yep, uh, Greece broke. The Greece machine is broken. That sounds so disgusting. The Greece machine. Um, okay, so we actually have a pretty big barrier, even with all the industry you're building, to make it to the top spot. I don't think we're going to be able to do it, boys, which saddens me to no end, of course, but... Oh, well, what are you going to do? Other than end this series off, I guess on a strong note. At least not a weak note. Um, so this is State of the World. India's doing India things. Uh, Tibet has been occupied. Um, France is weird. The more things change, the more they stay the same, I suppose. Oh, shit. Um, oh, <laughs> fuck. Holy shit, they just nuked Milan. Oh, fuck, there goes Genoa. Oh, they're fucking, oh my god. Oh, they're turning northern Italy into glass. Holy shit. I mean, I've heard of efforts to, uh, equalize uh, north of the south, but, uh, this is a little ridiculous. Holy shit. Um, yeah, I'm, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I got anything there, but that's a series for now. I have another idea for a Thousand Week Reich series that I'll get to probably, uh, in a little bit. Oh, look, Hungary's, uh, 
finally pushing back. Love to see it. Um, but yeah. Uh, until then, that's been it for Thousand Week Rag. But I thank y'all for watching. Like, 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 just like didn't leave me comments, feedback forever series or suggestions or just any comments or feedback you have for me, I read all comments again and I do appreciate any feedback you might have for me. Check out my various links down in the description box below. Uh, hit the sub button for notification bell. Keep up to date with these uploads which go up weekdays as well as occasionally Saturdays. And that's really going to be it for now, my friends. I thank you all for watching. My name is Mr. Dogboat333. I thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. I guess the next series, actually. Bye-bye uh, now.